okay let's do this one the consumer of two goods has utility function uxy equals max of ax ay plus min of xy okay. and this a is given uh, to be between 0 and 1 <clears throat> okay and it's some known number okay i mean so a is given okay uh, it's 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 uh, it's a parameter okay uh, so suppose the utility maximizing consumer choose to consume the bundle 1 2 in optimum so it is given that the optimal choice is 1 2 okay so optimal choice is 1 2 okay uh, so what what is the price ratio okay then you have to figure out what could be the price ratio when this is the optimal choice okay so what is px by py So, uh, so how to proceed and do this? Pop, you know, uh, what we can do is we can plot the indifference curve because you know, I mean, again, as you have already seen in the in the in the lectures, uh, that you know, I mean, knowing the shape of the indifference curve uh, will help you to solve the optimization problem. Will help you figure out exactly what should be uh, the equilibrium condition, okay, uh, at different points. Okay, so let's let's just first plot the indifference curve, and that's just going to uh, help us to figure out what could be the px by py. Okay, uh, so so how do we plot the indifference curve for this utility function? Uh, so what we can do is we can actually you know write this in a way which is more convenient to actually analyze. So what we can do is you know what uh, we can we can just split it into are two cases you know one is x is greater than y okay other is x is less than y okay notice that when x is greater than y ax is greater than ay do you agree because a is positive okay so this term is ax yes okay so this term is ax when x is greater than y and when x is greater than y min of xy is y yes so if x is greater than y this function is ax plus y yes or no and when x is less than y then this term is ay and this term is x so you're going to get x plus ay do you agree okay now all that you have to do is this is actually now straightforward so if you want to plot an indifference curve you just have to plot a 45 degree line okay y equal to x okay and in this region you know x greater than or equal to y you plot a line ax plus y equal to mu you know because when x is greater than or equal to y the utility function is ax plus y so you plot a line ax plus y equal to mu and in this region you plot a line x plus ay equal to mu where mu is some fixed level of satisfaction okay is that fine okay great so how how, how is this going to look well uh, uh let's let's just uh, plot it uh, and we'll we'll get this uh, so, so in this region, what is the slope of the indifference curve? One by a, right? Yes or no? That's what is the way. slope of one by a? Again, in absolute terms, you know, I mean, obviously, the slope is minus one by a, but but I'm talking about in absolute terms. So in absolute terms, the slope is one by a. Okay. Uh, so you will get a line like this. Okay, and uh, you know, in this region, the slope is a. 
in absolute terms, so you'll get a line like this. Okay, so this is one by a in absolute terms. Slope is one by a here, and slope is a over here. Okay, uh, if you want to figure out these intercepts, this point in terms of mu, you can also do that. It's your wish, but we don't need it. Okay, I mean that's totally your wish. If you want to figure that out, you can figure that out. It's very easy, you know. So if you if you want to figure out this intercept, you know, this is where uh, x is zero, so y must be mu by a. Okay, and this is where y is zero, so x must also be mu by a. Is that fine? Okay, and what about this point? Uh, this point will be. You know, uh, where x is equal to y is equal to mu upon one plus a. Okay, and how do you get this? Because this is on the 45 degree line. So this y becomes equal to x. So, you know, uh, you take x common and you'll get uh, mu upon one plus a. Okay, uh, and you know, obviously, you know, because it's a continuous function. Uh, so the indifference curve will also be continuous. Uh, so uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, it's not that it's going to be from somewhere else, you know. Uh, but but anyways, if you want, you can just check here also. Uh, you will find that this point also belongs to this line. Okay, is this okay? Fine. Now all the indifference curves look like this, and this point one two actually lies in this region do you agree one comma two lies in this region yes or no uh so you know you can say that maybe this is one comma two okay so let's say this is one this is two now can you tell me where is what will be the px by py if this point is consumed in optimum one by two Huh? Uh, one by two? No. Uh, sorry. By a. Uh, which point, sir? This point. If you consume this point at this point, you know that's your optimum point, right? One comma two is the optimum choice. One by a is one. One by a. That's right. One by a. Because absolutely, it is one by a. Because you know, I mean, if if let's say p x by p y is greater than one by a. Then in that case, you know your budget line will be steeper than the IC over here, okay? And it will look like this. And in that case, you will not choose this point. You know you would like to move in this direction, and you can improve your satisfaction level, okay? And if PX by PY is less than one by A, then also you will not choose this point. You would want to move in this direction, and you would, you know, you'll increase your satisfaction level, okay? Uh, but if it is exactly equal to one by a, in that case, you know, uh, you can choose this point because then all these points are optimal points along with this point. Okay, so px by py must have been equal to one by a. Is this fine? Sir, uh, one question uh, I have. Yeah. Uh, so px by py is is, is uh, mrs only and in most of the cases uh, we have seen that uh, uh, the the max utility occurs when this uh, this value is equal to the slope so uh, so we just needed to like check which region it fell in and one by a would be the slope there so is is it correct or like okay so let me tell you you know uh, you cannot generalize this that's the point you know i can give you situations where mrs equal to price ratio holds but it is not the best point okay yeah what if it is at extreme ends hmm? i mean yeah, yeah. It, no, no, no. I mean, if it's somewhere inside, okay, let's say for example, you know, you think of x square plus y square utility function. Okay, 
if you see the indifference curve in this case will look like this okay okay right okay and now if you actually look at a point like this where mrs is equal to price ratio you know and let's say this is your budget line this is not utility maximizing because you can all, you can actually you know uh, raise your satisfaction level by going in this direction mm. yeah. or in this okay so i would recommend you know rather than you know just remembering or memorizing these things uh just you know i mean if you want to be precise and accurate and if you want to be very sure about what you have done is correct or not reason it out using the graph or whichever method you like reason it out make sure that you know that whether you are doing it right or not got it okay because if you just blindly apply these mrs equal to price ratios you know or some formulas like these without even thinking i'm telling you you know there are situations where you might get a wrong answer makes sense okay sure. sometimes you cannot even find the mrs like for example you know if, if this is a point at this point you know mrs is not defined the reason is because this function is not differentiable here okay so the partial derivatives doesn't exist okay and since the partial derivatives of the utility function doesn't exist at this point the mrs doesn't exist yes okay so this is uh, you know again uh, uh, i would say just forget about all the textbook stuff that you have read or learned in economics just go by plain logic okay and just do these problems Okay, you want to do them accurately. Okay, yeah. Okay, is this clear? I mean, you can clearly see over here that if this is a budget line, this is the highest possible indifference curve through this budget line. Okay. so that means this is an optimal choice okay which means that you know the slope of the in, slope of uh, the budget line should be in absolute terms equal to the slope of the indifference curve in this region which is 1 by a is this fine okay 